Hello, this is Mikey Schott from Service Rocket. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase the number of workflow transition buttons displayed on the view issue screen from the default to to whatever you would like to set it to. And in this example, I'll be using my baseball game project, which is for uh, handling whatever issues you might encounter at a baseball game, as you might think. So I'll go ahead and create my first issue in this project. And we'll go ahead and say we're hungry. And for the summary, we'll say something missing from my life and it's food. Set the priority. It's probably pretty important. Assign it to myself. Set our hunger level. And I'm not gonna worry about a description. And here we go. Here's our issue, baseball nine. So the problem that I'm talking about is this one right here. If you consider it to be a problem, that is which is when you have more than two workflow transitions available to you, the third and later transitions are displayed under this workflow dropdown. So if you want all of these to be displayed here on the view issue screen, we'll have to go in and add some configuration settings to Jira. And I'll show you this is a problem at this phase of the workflow as well. If we go to the hot dog stand and here you might see Oh, well, I, I just re really want to eat three hot dogs, uh, but my choices are only two or five. Well, if you go to the workflow dropdown, you would see that is a choice there. But if somebody didn't know, they might end up eating five hot dogs and get sick to their stomach, something like that. So to have all of these transitions displayed, we're going to go into our Jira folder. We're going to stop Jira. And then we have to go into our home directory. So I'm using Jira 6.2. This is my installation directory. And this is my home directory for this particular instance of Jira. And now we're going to create a new file in here. And the file that we create needs to be called jira-config.properties. And make sure that when you create this, it is in fact a properties file and not a text file. And then you can just go in here with a text editor and you want to add this particular key. It's called ops.bar.group.size.opsbar-transitions. And we say equals and then say the number of workflow transitions that we'd like to have displayed. So if we want to make sure that we display them all, we could perhaps set it to something absurdly high, like 25. In this case, I'll set it the uh, reasonable value of five. And then we'll just save that file. And now we'll restart Jira and we should see our changes take effect. So we'll pick it up there. Okay, so I've restarted Jira and now I'm just going to log back in and we should be able to see all of our workflow transition buttons now. Huzzah, there they are. And so you'll see, unlike before, there's no longer a workflow dropdown because we've set the number of workflow transitions to be displayed to five. So if we had six or more, we would still have that workflow dropdown, but because we only have four here, we can see all of our workflow transition buttons. Now, what I'll show you how to do in my next video is how to reorder these workflow transition buttons so we can put these in a logical order.